Instagram just updated its audio features in Reels. In this video, I'm going to show you the cool stuff that they just added. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. For audio, the order in which you add the audio matters. Here, let me show you. So if we're on the full first screen, so this is the recording screen, you know that because the menu is on the side. So I can see the music symbol right there. If I press that and I pick a song, sure, it's used this song. And then I want to record a reel with it. So I have the song selected and then I'm going to record me saying something. So, hi, this is a test, I'm testing my audio. So I recorded that with the music. Now, when I go to preview, and I see the menu up top, I can click on the music note. This is gonna allow me to use the music. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to reduce the music audio and then increase the audio from the camera. But because I had the music as part of it, it's still gonna have that music appear in the background. It's gonna blend the two. So if you wanna include like your voice and you wanna include music, it's best not to add the music in the first screen. The only time you wanna add music in this home screen, so when the menu is on the side, is if you want to use that music only. If you wanna use that music and then maybe add um, also let your original audio, so what you're saying to the camera show, you don't want to add it here. You want to record yourself without any music and then add it later. So let me show you what I mean. So here, I'm just going to record myself. So hi, this is how I record myself. I think my voice cracked there. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. So go to preview. I'm going to press preview on the bottom. And you see that the menu is now on the top. This is where I can control the audio for the overall video. So I'm gonna click on the music note up top and it's going to allow me to change that camera audio. So you can see I can move that up, reduce that, and down here is where I can add additional things. So what I'm able to do is add music so let's add that song. Gonna increase my camera audio and reduce that audio so you can see I have more control of how it's gonna play or I can just get rid of that audio and just use my camera audio. The other things I can do in here, which is awesome, is voiceover. When I record voiceover, all I have to do is put that white line. So you see the white line? I can put my thing, hold my finger down on it and move it anywhere in my timeline that I want to add it. So say for example, I want to start a voiceover right there. I press the red record button and I can record voiceover on top of it. So I can preview it by pressing the play button. Say I don't like that voiceover, I can click back, discard, and it's gonna get rid of that voiceover. So let's say, for example, I'm going to record it right at the beginning to replace it. Hi, this is how I record my videos. And so now when we play it, so both audios are gonna sound. Say I want to get rid of that car, camera audio, I can go back, reduce that, and then I can choose which audio I want to play. So I can have full control over the voiceover, which is awesome. This is a brand new feature, which is really cool. So I'm, let's keep the original camera voice audio. So there we go. We can add a little bit of that music. By adding a little bit of the music, you're allowing your video to show up in the search for that music track, which helps you with trending audios and just show up with trending audios. And then the last thing, the coolest thing, is the sound effects. And I can choose between these different sound effects. Say I want a sound effect to play, and I want to choose where in the video it's gonna play. I just have to listen to the video, and when I want that sound effect to play, I just gotta hold it down. 
So let's say I wanted to play at the beginning. I'm just going to wait till it goes to the beginning. And it's going to play that sound effect. If you know you want to play it at the beginning, so I'm going to pause this. I can put the white cursor exactly where I want it to play. And let's do a nope. So now if I play that, you can see both of those sound effects. If I want to get rid of a sound effect, I can just press the back button. But when you get rid of sound effects, it's going to release it's going to delete them in the order that you applied them. So the newer applied ones will delete first and then you'll keep deleting it until you get to the original one that you added. And if you don't want that sound effect to be super loud, you can reduce how loud that sound effect is. So this is really cool because you can have up to four different sources of audio in your reel and you can control how loud each of those sources are gonna be. And then just click on edit. Say the song no longer works. I can delete this song, add the music, and try a different song. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment and tell me what kind of video you want me to make in the future. Until next time, peace!